Hello everyone, I hope you people are doing good. Today I'm here to notify you about nine facts of IELTS. Now, if you are planning to hit a very good band score in IELTS, I believe you should be knowing all these facts. Here I go with the first fact, fact number one. Non-native speakers can score nine out of nine. Now, I've got many questions into my inbox. Can non-native speakers score a full band score like nine out of nine? Let me give you a statistic. Non-native speakers, more non-native speakers get full band score than native speakers. So yes, being a non-native speaker, this is absolutely possible that you get nine out of nine in IELTS. Fact number two, the more bigger words complicated words, standard words you use, the more band score you have. This is a fact. Try to use synonyms and not very regular words that are used by people. So yes, if you are using bigger words and different words, you are most likely to score a better band score. Fact three. More mock tests you attempt, more possibility to hit a very good band score. Trust me, the reason I'm saying this, we take our preparation, but we do not really attempt a good number of mock tests. Now, if you're not attempting a good number of mock tests, you are less likely to hit a very good band score. So more mock tests, more possibility to hit a brilliant band score. So we, you need to go for the maximum number of mock tests. Fact four, there is no correct answer of any speaking question. For example, in your speaking test, your examiner asks you a question. You don't think there is any correct answer. The way you answer, you might have a different answer than mine. I might, may have a different answer. So answers would be different. So there is no specific correct answer in speaking test. So you answer your way, I answer my way. Fact Five, in an opinion essay, if my opinion agrees with the opinion of the examiner, will I get a better band score? Now, at times I think, in which way the examiner might think, in which way the examiner's opinion might go, you stop thinking about them. Now listen, your opinion and examiner's opinion might not be the same. So there is no point thinking that if you match with your opinion but examiner's one, you're gonna hit a better band score. It is never like that. So your opinion is your opinion. You try and give enough backup to your opinion. So don't worry about the examiner's opinion. They can always be different. Fact six, in a speaking test, if I ask, my examiner to repeat a question, will it lessen my band score? No. At times, your examiner asks you a question and you probably haven't understood that. And then you get scared of asking him to repeat that for you because you believe that it will lessen your band score. It would never. Listen, this is not your listening test. You probably haven't understood, but if you ask him cordially to repeat that for you, he would definitely repeat that and wouldn't really deduct your band score for that. This is not a listening test. So feel free to ask your examiner to repeat the question for you. And that is absolutely fine. Fact seven, in my writing test, do I need to use a wide range of grammatical structure? Obviously, yes. You make sure you try and use different types of sentences, but make sure if you're not very sure of any specific structure, don't attempt that. So make sure the structures that you have been attempting in your write-up, you are very sure about them. But yes, always remember that using a wide range of grammatical structures will definitely get you more band score for sure. Thank you. Fact eight. In my speaking test, speaking with a Western accent, does it increase my band score? Nope. Now listen. At times, 
we think that if I speak with an accent, like a British accent or an American accent, I'm most likely to have a better band score, but this is definitely not that. You can speak in any accent, right? Even uh, in a very normal accent, but make sure you're pronouncing those words correctly and you've been making all right sentences, you hit a very good band score. And if you're even speaking with a British accent or American accent, it doesn't really make any difference. So, so yes, you speak with British accent and American accent, it doesn't get you more band score. Fact number nine, do we have different questions in different countries? No. There are two modules in IELTS, academic and general. And remember, the day we have got an academic exam all across the world, you have the same question paper. Even I have seen people saying that they're probably in Asia, you go one, you get one question. In Europe, you get another question. The questions are different in different parts of the world. This is never like that. Anywhere you go on an exam date, when you have like academic or general, you have the same question paper in different nook and corner of the world. So the question paper is the same everywhere in the whole world. Guys, I've certainly felt like I need to be discussing all these things with you people because I get frequent questions in my inboxes, like these ones that I've discussed today. And, and trust me, you focus on them and you'll be able to hit more band score in IELTS. So I'm, I'm wishing you all best of luck those who are going to attempt IELTS in future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for today.